There's something fishy going on around here today. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. So we've shown you a couple different ways to make whole fish on the grill without it sticking to the grates. Well, we're gonna take it one step further today. We're gonna cook some whole fish on the Trompo King using fruit. We're gonna stack them on here. We're gonna roast them on the big green egg. It's gonna give crispy skin, flaky white meat, so much flavor. Let's show you how to do it. It's gonna be great. This is gonna be a fun cook that's not only gonna look really cool, but it's gonna taste really awesome. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these beautiful lane snappers, we're gonna cut some slits in the sides here, squeeze some fruit juice in there like lemon juice, and put a little bit of Greek freak seasoning in there. We wanna develop the flavor, so the more flavor that it's exposed to, the more it's gonna soak into that meat. One nice thing about fish is that it really absorbs flavor as well. So we're gonna squeeze some lemon juice on there before we cook it, and it's gonna soak in and flavor that meat so deliciously, we're gonna have a nice, white, flaky fish by the time we're done. And now we need something to put in between the fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel the top half of two limes so that the body cavity can actually sit right over the fresh part of the lime that's gonna give some juice up into the meat as it's cooking. Now I'm gonna stack these limes on here. So you'll see that we have this rack in the bottom here. Just so you know, if you're ordering on our website, it's available with or without the rack. If you want it with it, it's a separate order. So you have to check it out, okay? We'll put that. And take one of our fishes right in the middle, just stick it right through there as such, and put it right down over that lime. Oh yeah, perfect. And fish number two. And lastly, we'll top it off with one more piece of lemon. All right, now, just one last step. Of course, you know, we're in South Florida, as you know, uh, the days that we film, it always rains, so we just had a major storm come through here. So, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some water in the bottom. We want this fish to turn out nice and moist, so more moisture that we can add, the better. Plus, it'll help keep our pan even cleaner. So, add some water in there. We got the big green egg, it's already burning at 350 degrees. We were cooking something else earlier, so we don't have to light all the charcoal. We are ready to go on, so I'm gonna put this thing on here right now and get cooking. Now, while the fish is cooking, let's go over a couple of things. You can use any kind of fish you want. I happen to use some snapper. They were local here, just caught yesterday, so they were nice and fresh, beautiful. Use whatever you have, but obviously, you don't wanna use a fish this big. It's not gonna fit in your grill. So you wanna get something size appropriate. Make sure it's a nice, medium fish. And I love me some white, flaky fish. Those snappers are perfect for this. I did some grouper on here last week. Outstanding. So we're gonna let this go. Right now we're at 350. It's gonna bump up to about 375. We wanna get that skin nice and crispy, but we want that fish inside to be nice and moist. We want a nice white flaky meat. That's what we're looking for. So that's an internal of 145 on your fish. So it's gonna take about, about a half hour or so. So let's just wait, and wait it out. And I can't wait to see what these things are gonna look like. It's gonna be cool. Our fish is at 145 degrees. So it's ready to come off of here. Open her up, look at that. Does that look cool or what? I think it looks really cool. So, I'm gonna take it out of here and transfer it over to the table where we're gonna now take some pictures of it because it looks so cool. Look at this, here's a nice beautiful piece of meat right from the middle of the body. I talk about a white flaky fish, it just flakes apart right in the layers that it is like that. It's beautiful. Now you wanna be careful, when you're eating into this part near the front, near just behind the head, there's gonna be little tiny skinny rib bones in there. You don't wanna eat those. They will stick in the roof of the mouth and man, give you a bad day. Pretty cool. You know it's cooked right when all the meat falls right off the bones. So anyway, you're wondering, why do you gotta cook it on a Trompo King, Ron? Why do you gotta do that? Let me tell you, I've done this cook a couple times now. Now first of all, you see the way the fish kind of fell like this, I cut the slits in it. I've done it before where I didn't cut the slits on it and the cut, the fish really stay whole and in shape a lot more. So if you want them to stay in shape more, don't cut the slits in the side. But if you like that, because I like to get in there with flavor and build the lemon, put the seasoning inside there. I like to build that flavor. It's up to you, do it however you like. But the nice part about it, the reason I cook it on the Trompo King like that is A, it looks really cool. But aside from that, aside from Instagram, um, it, it gets 
even heat all over the whole fish. So it's cooking the entire fish at the same temperature the whole time. If you're just cooking it on the grates, you're gonna get a hot spot. This will allow it to more kind of roast. It gives a crispy skin. It did a really nice job on the whole thing. Now, I've never been a big fish eater, all right? But I've started eating it. Um, they're full of omega-3 fatty acids, full of vitamin D. They got tons of flavor in them. The Heart Association recommends you eat fish twice a week as part of a healthy diet. So I've been trying to eat some more. I live in South Florida. We're the fish capital of the world. It's available everywhere. So even inland, I know you can get fish everywhere. So try this out. You're going to love it. It made for such a beautiful, tasty fish. The texture of the meat was absolutely outstanding. Nothing fishy about that. Oh, ho, ho. And we didn't even have to scale back on the dad joke. Oh, scales. Anyway, I'm getting out of control. So anyway, Trompo King, it's available on our website. The fish, I did snapper. I've done grouper. You can do any fish that you want, okay? You live up north, heck, do a snakehead. Who cares? Anyway, the fish is delicious. The Trompo King worked fantastic. The big green egg performed flawlessly as always. Again, I am your host, Captain Ron. Remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.